Okay, it's going to show you how to use the sweep modifier and how to make molding um, for a room. So here's just a quick example of what it might look like. Um, you can use molding for your baseboards, you can use it for decoration, you can do a couple different things with it, but um, this is going to be the final result. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Um, I'll go to my top viewport, go to my AEC extended objects, and what I'm going to do is I'll turn on my snaps and I'm just going to create a basic wall here. Alright, and I'll say weld point, yes, and I'll right click to end the wall. And that looks pretty good. So now you have a couple different options here as far as what you want to do. Um, you have the option of going into Google and saying molding profiles. And you can look up a variety of images and you can mirror your type of molding off of any one of these. You're going to want to look for a nice side view, something that has a good amount of detail. Um, or you can use a few preloaded options in 3ds Max. So I'll show you that one in a second. So what I've done is I've already saved a picture of a molding profile that I want to use. So I'll go to my front viewport. I'm going to drag out a, s a plane. doesn't need to be very big. Change these segments down to one and one. And I'll put the picture of my molding as a reference image directly on that plane, which I've already created here. And we'll just uncheck real world map size. All right, so the thing is when you're creating your molding is your image and your spline that you create actually has to be to scale. So what we're gonna do is we'll move this down so it's actually in line with the wall. And that size molding is pretty big for the size room that we have. So I will go ahead and use my Select and Scale tool and I'll bring this down a little bit. That looks good. And now what I can do is I can zoom in and I can start modeling it from here. So if I go to my Shapes tab, go to Line, um, I can start planning out the shape of my molding here. And if you hold down the Shift key when you're making your splines, um, you'll have a nice straight line to work with and um, your lines will snap right into place. So for now I'm just going to work with uh, corner segments and then we'll go back in here and make them smooth. Alright, hold on my shift key for that one and shift key there too. Alright, so now I can go back into my Modify tab and activate my Vertex. I can go in here and um, straighten out some of these details. Just make a nice piece. I highlight my Vertex, right click and say I want that to be smooth. You can move that however you'd like. So you want this guy to be smooth, this one smooth. This one smooth and let's see. Eh, for this it's fine. Alright, so this is my profile for my molding now. And I will just move this off to the side so you can see it a little bit better. Alright, so now what I want to do is I want to create a spline that's going to act as a path so I can actually sweep that profile along the path. So I'll go back to my line tool. I'm going to turn on my snaps and say I want it to snap to vertex only. And on the inside of my wall, I want to trace out that profile. Just like that. I'll we'll close the spline. Um, when you're doing this, you're going to want to make sure that it is resting on top of your on top of your wall shape here. Sometimes they go down to the bottom, and unless you're doing baseboards, don't put it on the bottom. All right, so to this path that we just drew out, uh, we're going to go to our Modify tab, and we're going to add the Sweep modifier. 
And as you can see, the shape automatically changes. So if you did not want to create your original profile, you could use 3ds Max's built-in sections. Um, and these have various uses as far as like piping for molding, um, for more architectural, um, architectural developing in Max. So if you wanted like a half round, if you wanted um, quarter round for your molding, you'll see that you can actually have all that detail right in there. So for this purpose, we're going to say use custom section, and we want to pick that section, and we'll zoom in on our molding profile, and we'll go ahead and click it, and you can see that it adds it directly to our wall here. Um, unfortunately, it's flipped, so what you may have to do is go down to your sweep parameters and say that you want to not mirror it on one plane or another. It looks like we need to play around with this a little bit. It looks like that's what we want, that shape there. So you can see that nice detail here, especially in the corner. So what I'll do is let me change this color so it's a little bit easier. And that's how you have some nice molding to work with. And you're done. So if you have any questions, um, please feel free to leave them in the comment box. Otherwise, I hope that was helpful, and happy modeling!